because I know you've seen this makeup look before, but basically I just filmed it for my YouTube because it's just a fucking look. What? Hi guys! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Vanessa. I'm joking. <laughs> I need to chill out because... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Vanessa K. So I'm gonna back with another video, back with the makeup tutorial, yes. I did this look on my IG, so if you follow me on IG, you will be like, we seen this. But, my IG tutorial is only 60 seconds, so, um, you guys don't get the full in-depth routine. And I think that look was just so amazing, I had to do it again for the books. You guys are gonna love this look, and you probably wanna recreate it featuring black owned makeup um yeah so i'm just gonna get straight into it before i go into it please like the video guys come on like the video it spread my it spreads my videos so much more quicker than you know so okay makeup transformation Woo! I'm running out of primer. I'm running out of my favourite primer, which you guys already know. Every day is this, but I'm running out, so I have to use the ordinary. Ordinary seems to be popping these days, so I'm not I'm not too fast. Okay. And the funny thing about it is, as you can tell from the fun thumbnail, I never thought red and blue go together, but it really does when you work out the hues. I saw <laughs> I saw this comparison of a lot of foundations, including the NARS look, or the NARS foundation. It wasn't the one I have, but it was like an, the NARS Luminous foundation. Putting it on a grease paper, and there was so much oil. And I think my foundation that I use is for oily people. It's for dry skin people, so I don't know why I have it, but I just like the way it, it looks. But it does make me a tiny bit oily, I'll be honest with you lot. It does make a tiny bit oily. So I'm going to have to powder before I put on my foundation because I'm not having it. Oh my god, so, talking about black owned business. Look at this brush. Look at this brush, honey. Honey, 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 honey. So I found out when I take my concealer here and here, it gives me more definition into my lips. It makes my lips stand out a lot. And I think that's really useful if you don't have a lip line like, like me. I don't have a lip line to save my life. I literally, you know how some girls, they just take lip gloss out with them and maybe their lipstick. I have to take my lip gloss, my lipstick and my lip liner because when I eat, my lip line just disappears. Like, it's so annoying. The eyeshadow look that you guys need in your life. The easiest eyeshadow look that you need in your life. So let me skip past all this bit because I always do this all the time. I'm going to skip past this bit because it's not new to you guys. So yeah, I'll be back. Look, colours galore. I've been spending my coins on eyeshadow palettes religiously. <sighs> Who would have thought? You lot have to watch my old videos to know what I'm talking about when I say eyeshadow was never part of my routine. I just used to dread doing eyeshadow. Now I'm just like, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm sorry for those who did eyeshadow and I was like, yeah, it looks draggish. Because now I get it. I get it completely. I will be using this shade, this shade, and that shade. I'm going to use this burnt orange just to add a bit of colour. Really, really nice, by the way whoa 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 this color just pops and pops and pops jesus honestly i don't even have i'm not even priming my lids and the color's just going oh hello child no but let me you know us girls with small eyelids small eyes or well, wearing eyeshadow is almost like non-existent because the only way you'll see the eyeshadow is once i've closed my eyes apparently the boys all of a sudden out of nowhere said that they actually hate it hate girls birthday makeup so you know when it's your birthday you go to an mua on insta and you get the whole cut crease going on the whole everything just oh apparently the boy didn't hate that and i'm just like oh like why 
And then I just look at, at like Emmy Ways on Insta and I'm like, do you know what? I respect the work, but it's so important to do everyone's eyeshadow according to the eye shape. That's the only way it's gonna look nice and not just, do you know what I mean? Ain't no one listening to me. Ain't no one listening to me. Guys, when I'm using the same brush for all different types of eyeshadow shades, I like to carry a wipe and wipe the excess off so the colours are not clashing on the brush. But I just want to stick to this brush because it's very small and freestyle-y, if you know what I mean. Much. Starting from the outer corner of our eye. And then slowly taking it into the centre. But not starting here, start here. Harsh lines, at all. You know, in the beginning, I said that I'll be using, including black-owned products in this tutorial. Your girl wasn't lying. Liquid metallic electric blue eyeshadow liquid. Don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. Let me just let me just use it because I'm just going to start talking for the whole of South London. Let me just show you guys what the girl's talking about. Don't play. Don't play. Every time I use this, my reaction is just over the moon. How did you take it from that to this, please? Wow. The black that I use and just add a little bit more to the corner. Just gonna wipe away my powder under my eyes. This glittery blue right here, I love this blue. It's like an icy frozen blue. It just adds extra color to your eyeshadow look. This is why I love this look so much. With my mascara now. This really pisses me off. When I put powder here, it's so hard to come off, and then it just looks extreme. For goodness sake. Right, guys, we're getting there. We're getting there. I was so tempted to use my Fenty bronzer, but I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution bronzer because I filmed, I've compared the two, and oh, you guys have to watch that comparison video. I compared the two, but I'm gonna use this today. I have my reasons, okay? I got my reasons. every time i use bronzer now i just think i just like imagine one of my subscribers like you want one of you lot watching this just like oh so you know how to use bronzer you know how to use bronzer now i was like yeah no but guys basically i didn't contour in case you guys didn't clock i actually haven't contoured like mm, mm, because i can't find my anastasia beverly hills foundation stick and it's pissing me off because that cost me so much money but i can't seem to find it so in case you guys haven't noticed i actually haven't contoured which is mad because i just love to contour but i guess we're not doing it this time around but that's okay that's okay well, i mean it's not okay but i did not think i could do that like, okay Woo! i have to get nexus brush and blend everything because i'm not ugh. and it has hello Whew. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a lot. It's a lot, guys. I kid you not. It is a lot for me. Um, gosh, gosh, how pigmented they are. Honestly, I might just go TT a bit right now. I might actually just do it right now. <laughs> Someone tell me when to stop. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. No, but seriously, Vanessa, what are you doing? Too much. Go in with Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fussy. It is just life. I literally, when I do dramatic eyeshadow looks, I just pair it with nude, lip gloss, pink. It just, oh, it makes everything look turned down bad. I kid you not. Let's blend everything together. Guys, guess who's finished? 
this is the finishing look and it gets even better. I told you guys that I was using also black owned makeup, which is Eloise Beauty, which is the most important product of this tutorial. It was the electric blue liquid eyeshadow and this teardrop brush. Not only is it black owned, you can shop for this because I know it's a bit hard to find electric blue um, liquid eyeshadow. So it will be very useful for me to share my code with you guys, which is Vanessa15. And you'll get some money when you shop at Eloise Beauty. I will leave the link of the black owned makeup cosmetics in the description box. So make sure you open that. Yeah. Guys, that is all for this makeup transformation. I hope you guys enjoy it. Get some money off this eyeshadow liquid and the teardrop brush. Everything I use will be listed in the description box. So give this video a thumbs up. If you are new here and you want to stay with the team, click the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell as well so you get notified. And I will be back here with another video. You guys already know. Thank you guys so much for the support. I enjoyed filming this video. Again, I enjoyed filming this look once again. It was just... Ugh. Bye.